Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are JUnit annotations? Let me answer. First of all, what is JUnit? JUnit is a unit testing framework. In this unit testing framework known as JUnit, we have several annotations. So what exactly are these JUnit annotations? So JUnit unit testing provides a good list of annotations using which we can control the execution flow of the code in which order the code need to be executed how many times the same code need to be executed like that we can control the execution flow of the code with the help of this jnet annotation that's the main purpose of the jnet annotation annotations there are different jnet annotations we have that is at the rate test by specifying this annotation before a method that particular method will become a test method okay that you can run with the help of jnet okay and there are other annotations like at the rate after, at the rate before, and at the rate after. So if you specify this at the rate before, before a method, okay, that particular method code will run before every test method. Okay. And if you mention this at the rate after JNIT annotation before a method, that method code, okay, will run after every test method get executed. Okay. Like that, we can control the execution flow of the code with the help of this JNIT an annotation. Like uh, setup code, tear down code, closure code, like a okay, based on the code that need to be run before the test method and after the test method. This kind of annotations we can provide. Similarly, we have iterate before class, iterate after class. We have iterate ignore for ignoring the test. Like uh, if you don't want for a particular test to run, or if you want to disable it or ignore it from execution, then iterate ignore annotation we provide. Like that, many other annotations are there. You see here iterate parameters to parameterize a particular test method. Okay. So like that many annotations are there in JNIT, okay, for this purpose. So hope you understood what exactly are JNIT annotations at, at least at a high level. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.